Thanks for checking out another video. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. LSU women's basketball team survived a tough game against a resilient UCLA women's basketball team. Before Flage really stepped up and really was the main reason why LSU won the game. She just was a dominant force on all aspects of the court. The leading scorer, knocking down threes, playing good defense on one of UCLA's top players, Kiki Rice, really limiting what she was doing, uh, an important block at the end of the game on her. Um, everything that, that you needed a star player to do, she was doing. And with the help from... Anissa Morrow, who definitely stepped up making some big time shots, and then Angel Reese doing what she does. Um, Michaela Williams, the freshman, came through knocking down some clutch shots. And I kind of understand why she doesn't run point as much because it seems like sometimes Michaela Williams has lapses when she has the ball a lot in her hands, so maybe down the line, maybe next year, she can be more of a, of a point guard, but right now, I just feel as though she's best suited for what she's doing, just getting the ball here and there, knocking down shots. Um, Haley Van Lith, a lot of people was upset about her not being able to knock down any shots, even missing a, a crucial layup at one point in the game, but I feel as though what we expecting from Haley Van Leaf now, what we realize what she does, she's just one of those players that's just almost like a, a, a general out there getting everything set up, just getting the ball up court and, and getting us in our offense and, you know, taking charges here or there. She's not going to be a scorer. She tried to, to get some shots up, but unfortunately they weren't following at all for her today. Um, Last year, poor tried to wasn't really just an impact. So our point guards haven't really wasn't really impactful this game on the offensive side. Defensive side, yes, took some important charges. And like I said, we're just looking for our point guards just to get us into the right offense from now on. But I'm expecting Iowa to win against Colorado because I'm pretty sure that's what the world wants to see. LSU, Iowa part two. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe to the channel.